All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Right, in this episode, I want to get this Nova engine bay painted. Now, I've already taken the engine out from last week, so let's make a start. So before I do too much, I want to clean a few things up. So this area here was cut out last week for clearance for the turbo hose. So obviously, I did it with a grinder, but now the engine's back out. It's going to be a lot easier to clean. So first off, I'm going to clean that up, clean up a few little bits and bobs, and then we can go from there. So I'm just using a 60 grit flap for this just to clean up the bolt. Then I'm going to move on with an 80 grit rotary wheel on a drill. It just gets rid of the last few sharp edges. Right, now that's all cleaned up, I'm just going to use this little 3 inch DA sander just to clean up this area around there. The bits will need a bit of filler just to give it a key so the filler can stick. So now that's sanded back, I'm just going to mix a little bit of filler up. Don't need much. Just to kind of go over them low spots and stuff. So as per normal, just a golf ball of filler to a pea of hardener and mix really well. Right, now we can just slap a bit on. Don't worry about getting this to look perfect. I've been using filler for years and years and I still struggle to get a remotely nice finish. Now the people on TikTok are clearly experts, but in reality you don't really need to be that good. Um, just spend a little bit longer sanding. It's that simple. So the plan is to high build prime the whole engine bay. I'm going to gravitex the bottom half, you know, the lower bits like this, but the top half I want to look really nice. So we're using some 240 just to go over this, get rid of some of the surface rust, and then that'll be ready for painting that top bit. <laughs> So I bought this little DA sander really cheaply off eBay. I think it's about 35 quid. It was an absolute bargain and it's really, really good for getting into the awkward areas. So as you can probably see, I'm concentrating on the top half of the bay. This is the bit you can see the most of. So I want that bit to look great. There is the odd bit of surface rust here and there, the odd bit of spidering, but the sander's making proper light work of it. I use 8 grit just to roughly shape the filler with a DA. Um, and then I move on to 180 and 320. Now I kind of use a DA and I also use sanding block and I do some of it by hand. Combination of all three. So high build primer covers 320 really well. However, if you are just using normal primer, I would recommend going much finer, maybe something like five or 600 grit. So as you can see, I've blown in both inner wings with some extra primer just to make sure the filler work looks okay and it looks more than presentable. Now the owner of the car is stressed, he does not want this to be meant, he just wants it to be practical and usable and look nice. So I think we've achieved that. So the best washing up bowl is back out once again. I don't think this has been in the garage for a year. It's back out. I've got some Scotch Bright, got some warm soapy water, and we're literally just going to go over all this and clean it up. Now this stuff is a lot better for areas like this. Sandpaper doesn't flex as well as this does. This is really good at getting the grime off as well. So the soap and the water is going to really help with that. You can see already it's coming off beautifully. And if there is any areas afterwards what I'm not happy with, I can go over it with some 320 because I'm going to high build the whole thing anyway. Right, so I've given everything a really good clean and a rub down, a little bit of a key. I've cleaned it all the best I can um, for this stage anyway. So the next job is to go around with some PU adhesive, put some sealant around some of the edges, and then we can move on to the Gravitex. So this is the stuff I'm using, just normal PU adhesive, like Tiger Seal kind of thing. I'm just going to go around some of the little joints under here. Just use a finger, just like the factory would have done. Well, they probably want to use the finger, but to give that kind of look. So I really want this car to last. So fingers crossed the sealant should help stop the water ingress. And obviously it gives more of a factory finish too. Right, so I've just gone around and masked a few bits up. I have etch primed a few of the bare metal bits and I'm just going to put some Gravitex on the lower section now. If you wasn't aware, Gravitex is overpaintable stone chip protection. As you can see, that lower section is all done, as is the inner arch. Now, I did run out of grey, so I had to go to black, but it didn't really matter. Cross member. And the near side inner arch. So the next step is to sand everything back to 320, maybe 400, give everything a nice key, clean everything up, um, and I need to mask the car properly, have a really good tidy up, and then we can start doing high build and then top coat, and I cannot wait. 
Right, so it's been 24 hours since the Gravitex has been put on. It's gone off, it's gone off well. Next step, I'm going to 400 wet and dry the whole engine bay, ready for primer. I'm going to be here a while, so the next frame you'll see, I'll be masking up. Right, the engine bay is now ready for primer, and I've also quickly just done the rocket cover and the cam belt cover. So I need to mask up now and then we can start painting. This kind of bodywork's really dusty and obviously tape does not stick to dust. So make sure you thoroughly blow gun everything off before you start. As they say, paint's 95% prep. So I always use cheap painters polythene on the roll. It's static, so it sticks to the car really well. And it's so much easier and faster than using traditional paper. Right, I was blowing everything off with the air gun. And now it's just a case of panel wiping everything down and we can start priming. So I'm literally just using standard panel wipe. It's not very expensive, like 20 quid for five litres or something like that. That's ages. And I'll use this to clean everything up. <laughs> this stage is really important. Any oils or silicons can make the paint fish eye really easily. My advice is don't risk ruining your paint, just give it a good panel wipe first. Right, so we're mixing high build primer now. This is mixed four to one, and this is great for covering a multitude of sins. I'm going to give it a good shake. And then I'm going to start with around 250 mil. Now, I have no idea if that's the right amount. I am no pro, so we're just going to lag it. So it's four parts paint to one part hardener. Hardener. Just standard fast cure hardener, nothing fancy. Right, now we're going to give it a good stir with the stirring stick. This is a proper paint stirring stick, this is not an old screwdriver. And it's just a case of pouring it in the gun. And we'll see if that's enough. I don't think it will be, but I don't want to waste it at the same time. Right, I'll see you when it's painted. So I've just kind of done the bits I really want to look really nice. Um, so these bits here, obviously your key areas to your engine base. Are I block all them back down they're going to look great and i've also done the engine covers as you can see now i'm going to give it 24 hours and i can block it all back and we can go on to top coat and lacquer boom right so we're 24 hours later everything's obviously completely dry now now there was a couple of little bits i weren't happy with so i've gone around with some dolphin glaze and just touched a couple of bits up which is like a really fine filler i've also kind of given everything a bit of a mist coat with some darker paint so when I sand it back, I'll be able to identify any low spots I'm not happy with. So I'm going to start sanding it now. Wish me luck because I hate doing this. Go over the dolphin glaze for 180 grit just to get the shape. And then I'll work up to 600 grit. The rest of the high build and the primed areas get 600 straight away. Like I said before, we don't want perfection. It's just a tidy, clean bay. Right, so as you can see, I've cleaned it all back, sanded it all back, I've gone through all the grades. Um, I've also gone over with some grey aerosol, grey primer and a couple of bits where I went back to metal, uh, just to help the paint stick. Um, so now I need to move this masking tape further up because I'm going to blow some of this back to in. Uh, then degrease and then we're away. So believe it or not, I've been 10 hours doing this this week. Uh, my fingers are red raw. Um, I'm in... <laughs> I'm knackered if I'm honest. However, we've got there, so all I need to do now is, like I say, remask, quick clean up, spray it, get some lacquer on it, and we're done. Thank God. This whole area is going to be covered with carbon fiber panel. However, it doesn't seem right not to paint it. It's the same process as before: blow it all off first, then apply the tape. Sadly, I can't remove the heater blower because the stuff feels like it's going to snap, and I don't want to cause any more work. So for now, I'm just masking it. Right, I'm going to use a tack cloth now just to go over 
the top bits basically try and get as much dust off as possible. Right, that's all done. Let's get the paint mixed. Right, so one mixing cup. And then we've got one litre of 83L Vauxhall Mistral Grey, common Nova JSI GPU colour. Looks nice, like a metallic. Now this is a base coat. So that means you need mixing with thinners 50 50. Yeah, 200 ml. And then that needs mixing with 2K thinner. Again, I want 200 mil of that, so that's one to one, 400 mil in total. Then I'm going to use this sieve, paint sieve, and this mixer, which is not a welding rod. And away we go. Right, let's start painting. Next time you're gonna see the car, it's gonna be painted. Right, as you can see, the painting is finished and it looks really good. It's had a good few coats of lacquer and it's shining like a good one. Now I've been 11 hours start to finish on this engine bay. That's painting, nothing else. Um, and I've probably got a couple of hours of editing for a 15 minute clip. So please show your support by hitting the subscribe button, liking the video, and then next week we are gonna be fitting the engine in this. And that's the C20 Lair. Stay tuned for more guys, bye bye.